Hello guys, Kirk J here with Kirk Giordano Plastering. Today I want to answer a question that I get asked uh, often, almost as much as cracking stucco. And that is, how come my stucco or plaster won't adhere to the walls like the way you make it uh, adhere? Well, number one guys, I buy a deep furred wire. What does that mean? That means this wire has got a deeper fur. And they don't sell this wire at most material yards. Uh, in fact, my own material yard doesn't sell it. I had to call my buddy Matt Rogers, and Matt Rogers works for, used to be Bank, Great Western Bank Building Materials. I knew it sounded like a bank, but now they're called Foundation Building Materials. Uh, that's how old Matt works with that. And so Matt delivered, had this delivered to my house because I can save money and time and pass it on to you guys if I have all this stuff. And this is 17 gauge wire. What does that mean? That means uh, it's galvanized. What's galvanized mean? I'll tell you a little story. When I was 15, I used to work at a plating company. That means they had all these volts of acid and we would uh, chrome plate different materials. All I remember back then is we took the steel, like this steel or carbon steel, and you put it in volts of, uh, say, zinc. And, you leave it in there for a short time and what it does is it galvanizes these uh, so that they don't rust. Of course, if you pull a trowel on this or on a corner, it's going to remove that zinc coating or galvanized coating and it can rust. What I do remember back when I was 15 working at this place is all of us youngsters had spots all over us because it was about 120 degrees in there so we would take our shirts off and the metal was so heavy we put it in the vaults and it would splash all over us so if I'm wrong about any of the zinc or all that stuff that's not what this video is really about what I'm gonna do is Jason and I are gonna set up a work uh, bench in the back here and show you why the stucco will adhere better to this than my normal wire so I'll put flat wire my normal wire and then I'll put this deep for it and show you why it adheres better by showing you the actual wire on and showing you how far it, it comes out from the actual wood paneling. And of course, guys, it does matter when you guys say, hey, Kirk, you make it look easy. That's because either Jay or Lou will mix, and these guys are professional. In fact, Jay's a licensed plastering contractor, too, and they can mix it rich for me if I need it rich. Uh, sometimes we do. Uh, anyhow, when I get to that stage where we set up the back, I'll show you what I'm referring to. All right, guys, I finished this off. Uh, we're in my backyard. Jason went ahead and stapled this off for you guys. What we have here, he overstapled this because a lot of jobs we go to, contractors and homeowners, they overstaple it. This is just normal stapled like it should be. This is normal stapled like it should be. This is normal uh, suffered wire. You get at Home Depot, Lowe's, or any of the material yards. This, I have to special order. I put this one here and overstapled it to prove a point, guys. Sometimes if you have a wall that's overstapled, whether or not, and you just, you don't want to tear your wire off, just pull it out a little bit. You can create a fur. You can just go like so and create a fur. Uh, but I tell people that often when I look at their work and I go, man, you stapled the piss out of it, didn't you? Anyway, you can do that too, guys. But now, to, to prove a point, when you guys say, Kirk, you put it on, it always sticks to make it look easy. That depends on the mixer. Now, Jay mixed me up some mud. Three kinds of mud. There's soupy mud, there's normal mud, and then there's really stiff mud. Depending on what I got here is how I'll improvise with this. And I have a tendency, guys, depending on the wire, if, there's, if they got self-furred uh, nails in it, I'll improvise. I'll push harder, I'll pull less, and that's stuff I can't really show you, but I can tell you. Right now, I'm using a mud that's... Uh, um, it's it's a perfect mud for scratching. Um, so okay, let's let's do this again. Now with flat wire like this, there's one coat. Now if I put another coat, technically it's supposed to fall off. <laughs> technically, because this wire is flat. But again, I'm improvising. I see it, and my natural uh, ability wants me to push here and push here so it doesn't have a chance to fall. It's hard to just do it to prove a point. Well, this will come off right here. All right, I'm going to go here. This is a normal, normal fur. Now, 
I made this work, and if I wasn't trying to prove a point, I would push this in here, 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 so it can't come off. But I don't want to do that because the idea is to show you that the wire does make a huge difference. And two guys, the applicator and the mud. See, see, that'll that'll hold. That's thicker than this here. Uh, this is gonna come down soon, I can tell already. But let's go to the deeper furred one now. Deeper furred. And this is sort of like having furry nails. The furry nails pushes it away from the wall about a quarter inch. That way it's embedded. Now this one, I can put a lot thicker because the wire is, uh, it's come out about Oh, almost a half inch. See, that's got almost two inches on it right now. Let me see how much more it'll take. Oh, that's about three inches. Now this one here, just to prove a point, since, since I'm killing time and having fun, this is flat wire. Now normally if I wanted to adhere, I'd push here, push here, there, there. But let's see. That's already got an inch and a half. See how much more? Well, that's the point I was trying to make, guys. Uh, you don't want it too flat. Otherwise, you'll be working a whole wall. All of a sudden, you'll hear it. It'll fall right behind you. you go, what the hell? And you'll see all of this happening all over the place. I've done houses where I have some guys, and they're putting it on, and you can hear it falling all over the house. It's like, dude, you're putting it on way too thick, or, well, more. The important thing I'm trying to make is the wire's too flat. Anyway, we're about three inches here. The point has been made, if the wire's too flat, it's going to come off. Doesn't matter what kind of cement you use, you put fibers in it or you mix it too stiff. This is for what Jay and I do a lot of patchwork because it will adhere longer. And does it matter for this little stuff? Not really, but when you're doing a whole house and you're, you're putting tons on at a time, last thing you want to hear is, stucco falling behind you and I've heard that sound many many times so I thought I'd make it a point to show this deep furred wire. Anyway I hope that proved a point and if the wire is too tight guys like I say take a hammer take pliers and pull it away pull it away that's uh, that's when you come to somebody's wall and they staple the mess out of it so anyway my name is Kirk Jason on the camera we thank you for watching and as usual we'll see you guys on the next one. Once again, folks, we thank you for watching and I really enjoy all your comments. If you guys like this video, please click the like button down below. And also, if you enjoy what we do, subscribe to our channel so we can keep making these videos for you. My name is Kirk. And Jay. We thank you for watching. And from the entire Giordano family, we'll, we'll see you on the next one.